the Winnipeg Jets, the pride of Manitoba, and this year's class of the NHL. The Jets are on a tear right now with a blistering 14-1-0 start to their 2024-25 campaign at the time of this recording. They have now established themselves as one of the league's most dominant teams without any signs of slowing down. But what's driving this incredible success? How have the Jets, with minimal roster changes compared to last season, managed to elevate their game to this level? The answer lies in a confluence of factors, including a refined offensive system, a fresh coaching perspective, stellar goaltending, a rejuvenated defense, and an exciting pipeline of young prospects. Well, today, let's dive into each of these elements, exploring how they've contributed to Winnipeg's remarkable performance and whether or not the Jets will be able to sustain this hot start through the rest of the season. For this video, I'm going to cover every aspect of this Winnipeg Jets team to help you guys better understand how they went from being a first round playoff exit last year to now being one of the most dominant teams in the NHL through the first 15 games. Starting off, we're going to look at the coaching staff and management, just talking about how this new perspective has evolved this team in general, bringing along an offensive symphony with it. We're going to talk about the revamped defense as well as Connor Hellebuck just being a fortress in net for this team and how when all of these things are blended together, you get the perfect NHL team with a near flawless record. Now, something I want to bring up before we get into this video, about 90% of the people who have been watching this content are not subscribed to the channel. I'm trying to reach around 20,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So if you guys want to support me and my content, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel now. And without further ado, let's talk about the Winnipeg Jets. The Winnipeg Jets have not long been known for their offensive firepower, but this season they've taken things to a whole new level. The team's offensive system, built around the foundation of puck possession and creative puck movement, is now more potent and efficient than ever. Coach Scott R. Neal has implemented a more structured, systematic approach that emphasizes quick puck transitions, smart passing lanes, and utilizing the full ice surface. This system perfectly utilizes the skill set of the Jets' core players. Mark Scheifele is thriving as the team's primary playmaker, distributing the puck with precision and orchestrating scoring chances. Kyle Connor, with his blistering speed and lethal shot, is a consistent threat capitalizing on the opportunities created by the team's intricate passing plays. Nikolaj Ehlers, a dynamic skater with exceptional puck handling abilities, complements this offense with his ability to create space and generate scoring chances. All of this has come with the arrival of Scott Arneal as the head coach, bringing a fresh perspective and energy overall to this Jets locker room and bringing out the best of its star players. His experience and tactical acumen have been instrumental in refining this team's approach. Arneal has emphasized a system that demands discipline, speed, and a focus on puck possession, something that I feel like the Jets have sort of lacked despite Bonus being a very good coach for this organization. The biggest thing that I feel Arneal has brought to this team is a culture of accountability and trust. This has allowed players to thrive both individually and as a unit. We're seeing star players step up their game, but also players throughout the lineup finding more success than they ever had with this organization. With a new offensive system implemented by Arneal, this has trickled through the rest of the lineup, sort of revamping the defense that was once called too small and unable to perform in big time moments. Now it's unclear whether or not this defensive unit will be able to perform in the playoffs, but let's talk about this team's defensive unit so far and how they have sort of evolved from last year's Winnipeg Jets. The Jets defensive core has also played as much of a pivotal role through their first 15 games as their offense when it comes to the team's overall success. The defensive pairing of Morrissey and DeMello has been exceptionally steady, consistently limiting scoring chances and clearing the zone efficiently. The team's collective focus and defensive responsibility has led to a significant drop-off in high-danger scoring chances against, demonstrating their dedication to protecting their goaltender. The team's ability to effectively transition from defense to offense has also been instrumental. They move the puck quickly and intelligently, generating scoring opportunities after successfully neutralizing opposing attacks. 
This seamless transition from defense to offense is a hallmark of a team's improved overall game. Now again, this is all just for the regular season, and the biggest knock on this defensive unit has been their play when it comes to postseason hockey. This is something that a lot of Jets fans are feeling a little bit more optimistic about when it comes to Arneal's system. It seems to really bring out the best in this defensive unit, rather than trying to make them play a style of hockey that doesn't really suit their game. It's not a knock on bonus because he did get a lot out of this group, but it's just saying that this modern day coach is trying to approach this team a little bit differently to get some better results than we've seen in the past. Now, while their defense and offense has improved under their new head coach, I think we all can agree that one player, easily the team's MVP so far, has really stepped up again this season, and that's Connor Hellebuck, the team's goaltender. Connor Hellebuck remains a cornerstone of the Jets' defensive success. His exceptional athleticism, shot-stopping ability, and leadership on the ice have been instrumental in their current run. Hellebuck's ability to shut down opposing offenses and steal games with clutch saves gives the team the confidence to push the offensive limits a little bit further, knowing they have a reliable backstop if they were to make a mistake. Hellebuck's performances this year have been particularly noteworthy, and for a guy coming off another Vesna trophy, he's consistently elevating his game, delivering highlight reel saves, and maintaining a stellar goals against average and save percentage through this stretch so far. Right now, he's rocking a 9.35 save percentage on the season with a 1.83 goals against average, along with three shutouts in just 12 games played. If this doesn't scream potential back-to-back -back Vesnas for this goalie, I don't know what does. Hellebuck has remained focused and dependable, allowing the Jets to control the tempo of games that they're playing in and limiting high-danger scoring chances because of his strong play. Now, similar to the defense, a big critique on Hellebuck has been his performances in the playoffs, so we will have to keep an eye on that as well. With the defense looking a little bit more sharp this year, though, and Hellebuck believing that he was playing the best hockey of his career last year in the postseason, I'm expecting him to have a bounce back postseason run if the Jets maintain this success through the season and end up in the playoffs again. Now, our Neal system has brought out the best in every aspect of this team, but one thing we haven't talked about yet is how this team has improved over overall when it comes to their special teams. At the time of this recording, the Jets have the league's best power play, converting at a whopping 41.9%, which is nearly 7-8% to higher than the league's second best team. The Jets are also playing very disciplined hockey this year, being bottom 5 in penalty minutes taken, ranking 28th in the league, which is one of the few stats where being at 28th is a good thing. The Jets are also killing penalties at a pretty consistent rate, Right now, they sit at 82.4% as their success rate, which ranks 13th in the league, which could improve, but in no ways is this a bad number based on everything else this roster is doing so well. So to basically summarize everything in short that we've discussed today, the Winnipeg Jets' impressive start to the season is a testament to their refined offensive system, the strong leadership of their coaching staff, the stellar performance of Connor Hellebuck, the rejuvenated defensive core, and management's ability to bring some great players in to round out the rest of their rosters and surround their stars with talent to help them be a successful hockey team. With this blend of talent, experience, and coaching, the Jets are firmly positioned as a major contender in the NHL, ready to make a deep run in the postseason if they manage to get themselves into the playoffs. The only question is, will all of this translate to the postseason? That's just something we're going to have to wait and find out. But as always, let me know what you guys think about all of this. Are you impressed by this hot start for the Winnipeg Jets? And do you think that it's going to be sustainable? And do you even care about their regular season success if none of it translates to the playoffs? Also, let me know if you think that their game is going to be suitable for postseason hockey based on what you've seen so far. Comment all that good stuff and anything else you want to talk about when it comes to the Winnipeg Jets. Again, make sure you guys like this video and subscribe to the channel to support me and follow along with more hockey content. Thank you guys as always for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.